So hello friends and we are back with the second uh, Visual Studio Code uh, video on how do you import your Jupyter Notebook here in this Visual Studio in the Markdown form and see the preview of it. So this is a continuation of the first one. So if you have not watched the first one, go and see it in the end card. It's been provided here. Okay, so uh, what I do is I have uh, already like um, we've done this Boston series analysis. It is there in the playlist. So if you want to go for the analysis of Boston housing data prices, uh, it is a regression machine learning uh, example. So I want to see this file in my Visual Studio. Simple as that. I just walk you through what this uh, file looks like. Okay, and this is how it looks like. I have done a little exploration of it. And now this this file will be will be seen in Visual Studio. How can I see this? This is uh, this is Jupyter Notebook, but I want to see the same file in my Visual Studio code. So what you do is just go here, download as Markdown. Okay, download this file as Markdown. It will be downloaded here in a zip format. Now, why is it uh, downloaded in a zip format? I'll just tell you in a while. So uh, you go here in your downloads, wherever this file has been uh, downloaded. And when you will extract all these files here, since I've already downloaded one, so I will just, uh, I extracted all the files which were there in this zip file so there are like around uh, can you see these uh, six visuals and one analysis.md this is the file i have okay now i will open these file in my visual studio how would i do it i open my visual studio and here what i do is i go uh, in the file and i open file which file so i'll go in the downloads and this boston analysis this is what I will open. Okay. Now, can you see this? This has been written in Python and I have converted it into a markdown file. So, .pynd file has been converted into .md file for Visual Studio if you want to purview it. You can also purview it in, uh, preview it in, you know, um, .py extension, but I'm not, uh, I'm strictly restricting myself to markdown. Right. Okay. So this is how the code looks like in Markdown, right? So you can see this uh, three dashes Python. That means I'm writing in Python, and this is how I I do it. I import image Boston, and this is how my image will look here in Markdown. So can you see when I download this entire thing and and I want to view it, I understand that okay, uh, this is the code and this is the image and this is the um, I can say the head uh, heading header two. Can you see this? Import basic library. This is the second heading. Everything has been imported in Markdown here. And I can see this preview. What else do I see? I see entire entire data here. Okay. Can you see this? And do I get other things also here? Yes. Yeah, I get my uh, charts also. See? Data visualization, the histograms, the heat map, correlation map, the whiskers, box whisker plot. KDE and this is the joint plot everything I got this is how I see it in purview right okay so another thing is that you can also scroll things here you can make addition here it will be reflected in your purview it is because it is synced and uh, that is what the speciality of this is that uh, the complex code can be written very easily simply by just uh, mentioning these three dots here and three dots here uh, and uh, going ahead with any language you want right? ELM Python or any or any of the language you are comfortable with right so this Visual Studio code works with it uh, provided you have got your dependencies already um, installed in uh, this thing so how do you check it see uh, you check it here on the base. If my Python was activated here, they would have written Python. This blue bar. Can you see this? Here, Python would be there. So I will I will walk you through that also in the next video. Uh, that how do you run your Jupyter notebook here? Not in MD, but the Python files. Okay. Uh, but remember one thing that the purview is uh, available for the MD files. So if I am running a Jupyter notebook, I won't be getting this purview option. And that is a difference, the main difference. So please remember that. Okay. 
because that will be a continuation of this video so i'll see you in the next video and if you've got any questions just let me know i know you would have questions uh, because this is easy for me because i've just done it in one go but it might take a little little time or understanding to uh, really uh, get a heck of it but it is easy okay and if you don't get it then just uh, mention it in the comment section i'll be there to reply thank you